So someone recently asked me if these uh, Galaxy watches can actually be harmful to you and uh, if you should even wear them and can they even like maybe even cause some kind of cancers in you. So I guess that's actually is a valid question since there is quite a lot of uh, things going on with this watch. First, if you actually have the LTE version, this is essentially a phone at a very near distance on you at all times. So sending all these phone signals. Yeah, so that's something to consider. Also, if you have the Bluetooth enabled, it will sync with your phone. Again, it's at near your proximity. And also these sensors at the back, they blink really rapidly in green and red colors. So again, maybe you can do something like that. Honestly, I'm not. 100% qualified to answer this if this can cause any uh, damage like that. However, uh, let's be real, there might, might be some possibility. However, when we check some publicly available research on this stuff, basically, at least uh, for phones uh, and not for watches, there aren't really research on the watches, I guess, at the moment. So, but we can actually see that exposure uh, from phones at near distance can actually cause problems and can actually cause some DNA damage if exposed, especially during some calls, or maybe it can even like Again, for phones, if you actually uh, place them near your head, basically when you call, they can actually heat up your brain a bit. Like it's not a huge, but like tiny, tiny bit. So it has been shown in research. So I guess this has also the possibility to do that. So, but again, I, I couldn't find any research whatsoever on the watches since they're kind of new technology. So again, I guess that was a valid question from someone actually, since there is a possibility of that. Also, really, with these things, I really think the dosage uh, makes the poison, basically. So, if you are actually exposed to this stuff uh, pretty much every day, and you have like 10 devices on you, then I think it might even create some problems with you. However, if you still want to use this uh, watch, but still want to minimize your risk, I would suggest you to simply turn these things off. First, if you have actually the LTE version, then I can suggest you to simply disable that if for some reason you have bought it. If you go to the connections, basically, and I don't have the LTE version, basically, so you will find this in the connections tabs, you can turn it off, basically, if you don't want that. Or maybe you can keep that function, and maybe turn on uh, when you actually need to call someone. So maybe if you're going on a hike, but still want this function, uh, on you but just don't want <laughs> literally a phone uh, on you at all times then yeah you can simply turn on and off that function on the, under this connection stuff here then also if you want to like disable pretty much all connections like so there is like no pretty much very minimal uh, this L electronic magnetic field and like zero connections, you can simply place this uh, watch in the airplane mode. So, and then it's not sending any signals out at all. So it's pretty much uh, harmless, should be harmless. So again, if you need to sync it with your watch, simply disable the airplane mode and it should be good to go. Then about this sensor, so it does have quite a lot of sensors, especially the new Galaxy Watch 7. So it has got quite good heart rate sensor, it has got uh, like this even blood oxygen measuring sensors. As you can see it can measure absolute loads of things. I'm not 100% sure I'm actually qualified to answer this stuff, if they can be or can't be harmful really. Obviously, something is happening and yeah, might cause some problems for some people. But again, you can actually disable this heart rate sensor altogether. And I think it's the heart rate sensor really is uh, just running in the background all the time. And I think it's like not, not useful really, maybe. So uh, you can go again to the settings and click on your health. Okay, and then click on the heart rate and click this manually. By default, it's actually enabled to this every 10 minutes while still. So it will blink this green lights uh, and uh, like every 10 minutes at least, maybe even uh, much more. So I don't know, but click this manual only and these lights uh, won't be activated whatsoever. So really, if you like literally even place this in airplane mode and disable this sensor, so there's really nothing much 
that can cause problems for you uh, from this watch but again this if you have the LTE version again yeah it's it's a val valid question I guess because literally it is a phone on your wrist at all times at near proximity so yeah anyway see you